Hi, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. And I want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Yesterday, December 22nd, there was a magnitude 6.5 earthquake there in Papua New Guinea. It occurred at 8.31 p.m. local time and was about 42 kilometers, 26 miles, north northeast of Goreka in the eastern highlands province. The epicenter lies in the New Guinea highlands within the Papa Fold and the Thrust Belt. On the mainland of Papua New Guinea, this region does experience north-south north thrust shortening due to its ongoing collision between the Australian plate to the south and the microplates to the north. In this case, it would be the uh, Bismarck. Plate. Earthquakes in this location are predominantly uh, thrust fault earthquakes caused by compressional shortening of the fault and, of course, the convergence of the two plates and uplift of the highlands. Stick with me. I'll give you more details about this earthquake and what the future might bring. Hi, everyone. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope everyone has a very merry and blessed Christmas. Similar large events have occurred in this location. Back in 2018, there was a magnitude 7.5, which was also a reverse thrust earthquake. Twelve people sent in reports to USGS Did You Feel It website. They gave it an intensity level of 6 which means it was felt by all. Um, heavy objects, furniture might have moved. Uh, might have been some falling plaster, cracks in the walls. Damage would have been slight. There might have been landslides in this area because that is common for earthquakes of this size. Here are some of the reports that were sent into EMSE. This comes from Gorka, which was close to the epicenter. They posted fear. Another one. Um, which was 189 kilometers southeast, which would be about 117 miles, uh, said it was strong felt there in that location. Another report about 120 miles or 200 kilometers said it was a small shake and no damage. Another one said it, they felt the earthquake, but not too strong. And that was 246 kilometers south or about 152 miles, uh, said they felt the earthquake, but wasn't that strong there. And then another one, 451 kilometers southeast, which would be about 182 miles, said it was long and strong at first, and then weaker, but kept on going. So the shaking uh, lasted a while. Here you can see that, in fact, it was a thrust earthquake, the fault moving going towards the northwest. A smaller event happened afterwards, a magnitude 5.2. That one was also deep, 122.3 miles in depth, or 196.7 kilometers. Within 100 kilometers of the location, there is a chance of landslides or liquefaction. Anywhere between 1,000 to 10,000 people did feel this earthquake. And I don't know if you can see the color drawn out here in light green, kind of a bluish color. These are the areas that they say that does have the potential for landslides from this earthquake. As of making this video, there hasn't been any reports of damage, significant damage, or landslides. But it is a remote area, and population is poor, so yeah, that might be slow in coming. Light shaking may have been felt um, at farther distances by over 3 million people. Now, the 2018 magnitude 7.5, that was a much shallower earthquake. And it did cause a significant loss of life. Um, at least 160 people were killed during that earthquake. And I'll bring it out and show you comparison to where today's earthquake 
Okay, that's further west. And here is the uh, 6.5. And this is that magnitude 7.5. Now that earthquake also injured at least, at least 5,000 people because the, the depth was so shallow. And yeah, there was major landslides from that earthquake. It being a relatively shallow earthquake, only about 6.2 miles or 10 kilometers. And there was over uh, 260 some aftershocks from that earthquake. So there is a potential of other large earthquakes occurring. I often talk about how any earthquake does have a 10% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. Sending prayers to the people of Papua New Guinea. Yeah, what are your thoughts? Uh, where's the next big one going to happen? Once again, Merry Christmas. Thank you very much for joining me. And I humbly ask you to subscribe and thumbs up my videos. Always be prepared for a disaster. And I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all.